So with crime lights, you'll often hear us talking about lots of different forensic applications. But one of the applications is actually looking for illicit substances and particularly drugs of abuse. So particularly here, we've got some crime lights which are well suited for searching for illicit substances. On my right here, we have the Crime Light X5. Now the Crime Light X5 is actually a crime light which incorporates five different wavelengths of light with two LEDs per wavelength. And this is the UV, the violet, the blue, the blue-green and white light. Now you can use this for a range of applications, whether that's searching for body fluids, fibres, but with illicit substances, we're often using, in particular, the UV and the violet wavelengths. And in particular, the Crime Light X features both of those wavelengths with very powerful LED technology. Now at the other end of the spectrum, we also have our Crime Light Auto, which is a full spectrum camera. Features UV, all the visible wavelengths, and then also your infrared. But what is unique about the Crime Light Auto is it features all of your wavelengths, your filters, and your cameras all built into one held, handheld unit. And off the seat at the front, you have the screen, which allows you to view your evidence in live and real time. Now, of course, this does have the UV and violet wavelengths that you need to search for certain drugs. Um, but with this, we can visualize them through the screen without the requirement to wear any goggles or apply any other camera filters to standard DSLR cameras. Now, also, which may be useful, we do have our Crime Light 82S range, and we have these in both. We, uh, we have full kits, but in particular for searching for illicit substances, your UV and your violet would be the best suited. And each of these Crime Lights have 16 LEDs, so they are one of our most powerful light sources. In particular as well, we also have Crime Light 42Ss. Now Crime Light 42Ss are a little bit different because they still have 16 LEDs, but they have eight LEDs per wavelength. And we do actually have a Crime Light 42S which has both UV and violet wavelengths, so it's particularly suited for searching for illicit substances. Now obviously with illicit substances, um, we are using these violet and UV wavelengths. Not all illicit substances are going to fluoresce. There will be some that fluoresce and others that don't. But to give you an example, uh, illicit substances like cocaine will fluoresce under UV and violet. Um, it can depend on the level of purity of the cocaine. Uh, but also drugs like methamphetamine can also fluoresce. So using crime lights, there is a lot that can be found in the specific area of drugs of abuse. Okay, so what we have in front of us, we've actually mocked up some illicit substances. Uh, obviously they are illegal, so that's why we've had to mock up these samples, but we've mocked them up in a way that they reflect how some real illicit samples would look. Now in this instance, uh, we're also considering uh, the background as well and the different types of drugs wraps that may be encountered. So we have the small poly bags, things like foil and then full drugs wraps. But as you can see, I've got the Crime Light 42S and currently we can see some of our illicit substances starting to fluoresce. And it's very, very easy with the 42S to switch between the two different wavelengths and you may get differing levels of fluorescence with each wavelength. Okay, so here we're actually using the Crime Light Auto. Um, we've got UV and we can easily navigate through our light menu, choose our violet light and it's automatically going to adjust to the correct filter. And we can see in both of those wavelengths, we can see our small amount of drugs fluorescing. And then very simply, it's a case of clicking on the screen to focus and capturing an image. 
Now in terms of if we're at a scene and we find drugs, we then do have the capability to send this image over Wi-Fi through the Crime Light app and back to base for further examination.